This Fort Hayes State University homecoming parade is brought to you by Beaker Insurance, Hayes Convention and Visitors Bureau, Hayes Planing Mill, Paul's Lawn and Tree Service, Tri-Central Office Supply, Auto Collision Specialist, Cedar View Assisted Living, Riedel's Garden Center, University Bookstore, Carpet One, Ellis County Abstract and Title, Kinner Connect Family Dentistry, Midwest Energy, Precision Valley Golf Center, State Glass Company Incorporated, Downing Nelson Oil, The Quilt Cottage, The Almond Company, Coldwell Banker Executive Realty, Commerce Bank, Gone Logo, Hess Services, Keithley Funeral Homes, Leon's Welding and Fabrication, Patty Bacon Rind Appraising, Steel Fabrications, and Eagle Communications. It's a 2017 Fort Hayes State University homecoming parade. I'm Mike Kerner, John Armstrong with me from the foundation office. And John, thank you for joining me. Second year for you doing this with me this year. Uh, you did a great, great job last year, so I had to have you back. Hey, I appreciate that. It's a lot of fun. I appreciate you asking. Well, uh, we've got the American Legion riders showing up on our screen right now. I want to thank them for coming by. Uh, American Legion, they support past and present veterans and having send-offs for troops being developed and deployed to uh, all parts of the world. They also stand flag lines and, uh, for fallen soldiers and veterans who request their presence at funeral services. American Legion riders and Patriot Guard coming down the parade route. Just saw one of our professors, Joe Kratians, in this... Uh group of bikes right here. It's always nice to see him on a Harley. You know it's a nice day when he's on the Harley. Well, there's a lot of instructors at uh, Fort A. State University that do have bikes. Yes, sir. Probably a good day for the Fort A. State University football game tonight, too. Should be a great day and beautiful weather. Thank goodness for the rain. We always appreciate that. It fell at a good time, I guess, last night, and we're ready to take on the gorillas today. Well, this year's parade marshals are going to be, um, it looks like Dr. Andy Tompkins, interim president of Fort Hayes, accompanied by Tiger Alumni Honorary Family of the Year. And I'm thinking this might be the first time we've done Family of the Year, isn't it? It is. That is correct. I was on that committee, and what a great choice we have. And the Family of the Year, Milt and Marty Doherty. Both Milt and Marty come from multi-generational families of Tigers. So a lot of them have been through parades for the years. You should have seen their family tree of tigers. It was incredible, just absolutely incredible, the Doherty family. Their legacy, I believe, started in 1905 and continues today with two current students going to school here at Fort Hayes. Well, if they got current students and uh, they have some more kids, maybe we can keep this, <laughs> this going for a long time. Exactly. We like that. Well, it turned out to be a good day for a parade. So we're down here on Main Street in Hayes, Kansas, with the Fort Hayes State University Parade on Eagle Communications Television. Everything should go okay today because Harrison's our uh, camera guy. That's exactly right. The Marsha Taha with the Tiger Gold on Friday committee. Uh, <laughs> Tiger Gold committee. They've been handing out a lot of new shirts this week. People had old shirts. They were replacing them. You bet. That's always uh, a very nice in initiative with the uh, Hayes Area Chamber of Commerce. And, of course, Eagle Communications, a huge sponsor in TGOF here in Hayes, America. It's part of that casual Friday, don't you? Yeah, have that at work as well. Casual Friday, that's right. <laughs> Jeans and tiger gold shirts. That's right. Whatever we can do to support the Tigers. And coming down the parade route now, it's the marching band and Tiger Debs. I believe though, we've got a pretty good band coming up. Strong numbers this year. I get to see them practice just about every day outside the oh, Coliseum, yeah. and they're. Uh, banking some sound off the windows of the Robin Center, and it's always nice to see them out there practicing, getting tuned up for the game. And the band under direction of Professor Peter Lillipop and Dr. Jeff Jordan, led by drum majors Galen Wisman and Joshua Herms. I know tonight they have a special show, a decade theme of 70s, 80s, and 90s music, so that ought to be a treat at halftime.
great thing about that, rain, sleet, snow, whatever, the Tiger Band marches on. <laughs> Do they still practice in the snow, sleet, and uh, rain by your, by your uh, office? Yeah, office, that's right. Victory Tiger and also student athletes coming our way down the parade route. Handing out candy and schedule cards for future Tiger athletic games. Always nice to see our student athletes coming out and enjoy celebrating with the community as now you see a lot of our redshirt freshmen here at the Fort Hayes State football team. We've got some baseball players in here yeah. too. Oh, we got some young gymnasts here. Watch them flipping around. Heartland Gymnast Academy. Good thing they've got gloves on by the end of this parade route. <laughs> yeah, you're right. The hands will be kind of chapped up. You're right. You know, every year this uh, Heartland Gymnastics, it's always nice to see them coming through and been here for quite some time. 27 years, as a matter of fact. Now we're going to, I guess we've got more of these kids coming. <laughs> the littler one, we had the little, well, I don't know. We've got them all. They just keep getting a little bit bigger as they come down, I think they? that's right. <laughs> yeah, we're still watching Heartland Gymnastics Academy. Whoa. I think I asked you last year when we seen some people at her that you said that you could do that. Do you mind showing us on camera here today that you could turn a couple flips? I kind of threw out my shoulder a little bit. <laughs> that can be tough. Now to the Alumni Achievement Award recipient, Doug Richmond. Doug Richmond, our w winner, received a Bachelor of Science in Physical Education from FHSU 1980. Now to our Ali uh, award, Alumni Achievement Award recipient, Keith Ballard. Keith Ballard here in the parade route. Keith, of course, um, was a professor and director of Professional Development and Leadership Academy in uh, University of Oklahoma. Had a chance to talk to him on the radio with an interview last week. Great yeah. guy to talk to. He loves Fort Hayes. Alumni Achievement Award winner, Mary Ann Fonenstiel. Met her Thursday night at the banquet. Great people, well deserving of those alumni awards. Always nice to have them back to campus as you know, well. I know we passed on Mary Ann Fawn is still there, but I do want to say that uh, she's led some of the uh, laboratory services and research at Benchmark Biolabs. Now at Alumni Achievement Award, Michael Staub. Michael Staub coming our way. As we're waiting for the next one here, I do want to tell you Michael Staub is the uh, co-founder of Innovative RX Strategies, LLC. And now here's Mitch Hall. We've got Mitch and his wife in here. The alumni board Mitch. president. Now the Lita, Nita Landrum award winner, Brenda Reeve. Here's Brenda. Brenda has some great stories about her she time does. here, and she loves singing the uh, Fort Hayes theme song, too. We we got that out of her the other night, and she thinks that the lyrics have been changed, and she <laughs> she, she swears they've been changed. We <laughs> talked to her the other night about that. She's owner of Reeve Cattle Company down in Garden City. Brenda's a huge supporter of Fort Hayes yes. State University, has been a longtime supporter and a proud volunteer, and more than 20 years she's been been with us here in the foundation of Fort Hayes State, and we appreciate everything her and her family have done. And you know what she's thinking at all times? Because she, she'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> she's awesome. Always oh, seems to be pretty happy. Hey, this Jeep in this next, uh, this next uh, entry looks familiar. Yes, it does. Looks pretty sharp. You rushed around to get that ready before we did this parade today. The Journey Campaign with the University Foundation. You know about the foundation quite you a bit. You bet. You know what? Whether you're Near, far, here, away, we always appreciate the support of the Fort Hayes State Foundation. We're in our largest campaign in Fort Hayes State history, 100 million. We just surpassed the 52 million mark, and boy, look at that Jeep looking sharp right there. And a good driver, Kathy yeah, David I, is. I guess it is. <laughs> President and CEO, Jason Willoughby. Yes. What campaign are they working on now? We're on the Journey Campaign. Okay, which is yeah, which is a million. huge one. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's 
we appreciate the support from everyone, and it's been an incredible journey and do a lot of things for the future of Fort Hayes State. Well, we see now Fort Hayes State University Alumni Association welcomes back the class of 57 and 67 here in this float. Now, I gave their bus tour yesterday, so I have to stand up and give them a nice little wave to see if they'll recognize me. <laughs> they were excited about being in the parade today. It's great to see them back. They boasted a record back then, 2,367 students. All right, here we go with the Young Alumni Award recipient, Ben Markley. Uh, Ben's been around here for a while. He's up in Laramie, Wyoming. He's teaching some music up there. Met him the other night on Thursday night. Incredible pianist and composer of jazz and has performed all over the country and internationally and is well known across the globe. And now it comes to the uh, politician part of our parade, right? I just talked to Eber Phelps. I think he's up first. Here he is walking by. And I asked him if he was in charge of this baby. And he said, you know, I've had my fair share, but next time I get to enjoy him. <laughs> Eber says he's dying. Maybe speed him up a little bit. He needs the exercise, right? <laughs> That's right. That's what they tell me all the time. <laughs> Well, again, it is the Fort A. State University Homecoming Parade. want to thank you for joining us here on Eagle Communications Television and Hayes Post, no matter where you're watching it. I guess with Hayes Post, you can watch it worldwide, can't you? That's exactly right, and I enjoy sending that link to people and you know across Kansas and out of state and those that want to view and keep up on Hayes News. I invite them to our parents even, you know, that are looking at coming to Fort Hayes State and sending their children here to to go to HayesPost.com and see all the news and what's going on in Hayes, America. Since we've got a little bit of a lull here, you're from the foundation office. Uh, you talked about the Journey campaign doing very well so far. Maybe you can give us another quick update on that and how things are going there. And any big awards, or not awards, but any more big uh, donations coming up that you want to mention? You know, we're very fortunate. We've, uh, here in the last year, we've had two of the largest donations of Fort Hayes State University history, Peter and Pam Worth named the Worth College of Science, Technology, and Mathematics, and W.R. Robbins named the Robbins College of Business and Entrepreneurship, both with $5 million gifts, named those colleges. Um, incredible support for Fort Hayes State University, and you know, we're well on our way to making this university the ultimate university in the Midwestern United States. You know, with our tuition, the second lowest in the United States of America for an in-state resident, it's incredible. Our facilities, we just finished up an $88 million renovation and building on campus. It's an incredible time to be a Tiger. And you got the new scoreboard at Gross Coliseum. You bet. Possibly a new scoreboard next year at uh, Lewis Field. That's exactly right. Uh, our entry right now is Styles Dance Center. Want to welcome Styles Dance Center under the direction of Alyssa Deckett, Macy Pfeiffer, and Barb Brenner. Group of 250 students liking to wish the Tigers good luck at their homecoming. The 99 member competitive team is dancing to I Love Me. They always bring a big crowd. Look at all these ladies here. They know where the camera's at, don't they? Yes. <laughs> girls you think are in there Mike uh, I was thinking they were talking about uh, what is it uh, I'll look back here. 99 members. exactly 99 <laughs> members I was thinking that I said wow. that now we see an entry we see in the parade a lot it's Hayes has jobs uh, created at the request of local employers Hayes has jobs .com. first place to go for job seekers for full-time or part-time employment Always love to invite people to look at Hayes and our community continues to grow and that's an excellent website to go and find that job that fits you. Here comes the royalty. How about this, John? 2016 homecoming king and queen, Trey Bossa and Haiti Reyes. I, did I get that right? Yeah, Reyes. Oh, okay. yeah, Haiti's an incredible young lady. Um, they, these two are very active in VIP ambassadors and in the Sigma Phi Epsilon University Activities Board. 
incredible young leaders right there for us at Fort Hayes. And the next one we have up here is Student Government Association, Emily Brandt and Brent Hirsch. I know Emily pretty well. Emily does, does a great job for them. Emily is a senior majoring in political science and a minor in philosophy and a leadership studies. She's from Beloit. Brent Hirsch, a junior majoring in industrial technology, manufacturing technology, and third year serving in government, student government that is. It was nice to see our students that come from different countries as well. We have our international group, the African Ambassadors, just passed us and promoting culture from African countries. We want to thank them for all their time here in Hayes. Vehicle going by was First Care Clinic handing out some of the candy. As long as they're not handing out shots, I'm okay. <laughs> That's right. Now to Escape Hayes LLC, a live action escape room in Hayes. Our game masters are showing their tiger pride by showing off their favorite decade, the 80s. Some good music in the 80s, you know it? Yeah. <laughs> All right, coming into view right now, it's the Chinese students and the Scholar Association. Saw them when I was out running the other day. Over in my neighborhood, they were practicing in the street. Right. They take this very serious, you know, anytime they have to, a chance to promote art. Chinese Students and Scholars Association. Um, these are immigrants, they're teaching the culture and those in and around our Hayes, uh, Hayes community. And the partnership we have with, with China is absolutely incredible and, and we appreciate all their support and these students that come over and want to experience what it's like to be in the United States. Well, they're working on their uh, dragon dance right now. Now to international students, We've got International Student Union, those people coming up here, all showing their flags and their colors, which is great. You know, there are folks on campus do a wonderful job of inviting the international students to come to Hayes, and that's that's one thing that the lady here, <laughs> a lot of support and a lot of travel, and these students really appreciate everything. See some of our administrators in there, Cindy Elliott, Carol Sokolov, they do a great job on campus. Oh, we got another dance team coming our way. Can't do a parade without a lot of dance teams, can we? <laughs> this one's Becky's School of Dance. The Dance Connection, Becky School of Dance, The Dance Connection, with sound provided by Regal Audio Video. This year, approximately 70 dancers from the studio participating in the parade. Here they go. It's always great to see them at basketball games and different functions, and when they come, they come strong in numbers. One thing I love about dance is it teaches you much more than just how to how to move. You know, it teaches you a lot about balance and these kids being active and going out and they work hard. I like the teamwork aspect of it too. That's what's I always agree. good. Now to Eagle Communications coming down the parade route route. Starting off with Eagle Technology Solutions and their entry. Now a Hayes Post vehicle. And you're looking at the parade saying, where's Eagle TV represented in this group? Well, we're represented by uh, being broadcasting this, I you guess. You bet. So you bet. That's how we do it. And we've got our uh, Tech Solutions truck here. That might have been the young man that hooked mine up here just the other day. We moved oh. it to our home. And now we'll see the uh, radio truck. Better check out that guy's license right there. He had a late night last night. Yeah, he home, did. Didn't he? <laughs> Might be kind of sleepy. And of course, after Eagle Radio is typically the uh, United Way folks, it's pa pumpkin packing time. Chance to raise money. You got change in your pocket, throw it in the pumpkins and raise money for United Way sponsored uh, groups within the community. United Way with 13 agencies that they help in the community. We always appreciate everyone's support here in our community to build it strong and build in the future for, for a community that we all care about. United Way does a lot for all those agencies. 
See number 35 here, Cancer Council of Ellis County, kind of sneaking by us here. They're in a lot of these braids. Crispy skin is... For pork rinds. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Not for us, although That's we're right. out here in that sun today, aren't That's we? That's right. A lot of times they pass out, and I, they may be over there on that side and past us really. Uh, 36 here, that is uh, 2017 Royalty, Nicholas Glassman and Alexis Athena Wyatt. Homecoming royalty for us. Good luck to all of our royalty tonight, and what a great day they get to participate, and then they'll never forget a day like this. Now it's Jacob Schoenfeld and Sarah Jarmer. They're jamming in this one. Yeah, they are. And we move on to uh, Baron Green and Shaylin Sweet. Dalton Steiner now, Candace Wright, making their way down Main Street. More homecoming royalty. Dalton's an accounting major on our campus and had worked in our student fiscal services office. And very professional young man. And now Ricardo Zamora and Samantha Montgomery. Do you know them? Yes, I do. Both of them super great kids, Ricardo. Sam's in our tri-sig, she's a member of uh, one of our sororities on campus. We just had dedication for Tiger Village today, and the Tri-Sigs were involved what in that as nice well. What a nice place that Incredible is. Incredible facility. Now we're seeing another dance team, Jackie Kramer's Vision Dance Company, consisting of 62 members, ranging from age 5 through 18, performing Delirious. Well, I know all, you know, we, we have three, uh, three very good dance um, schools, I would say, academies, you know, within Hayes, and very competitive and they all do so well at their competitions. It's incredible to see all these young ladies and the hard work they do. Vision Dance Company, 2017 National Award winning dance company. Great job there. Now to Operation Christmas Child, a project of Samaritan's Purse, collects shoebox gifts filled with school supplies, hygiene items, and fun toys, and delivered to the children in need around the world to demonstrate God's love in a tangible way. And we had Roger Agnew just uh, slipped in there with his son, celebrating his first homecoming. He's a candidate for a city commissioner here. He slipped right by me. Yeah, he's uh, talking about... Um, reaching out to people here in Hayes and uniting the people in our community and wants to wel welcome everyone and know that there's a voice for everyone and he appreciates your support. It's kind of hard to believe uh, that we're talking about Christmas stuff already. <laughs> You're right. So again, you are watching the 2017 Fort Hayes State University Homecoming Parade. What a wonderful day for weather and uh, what a turnout out here today. Not only turnout with the people, but looking at the entries. We had almost 105 entries here in this parade today. You bet. You know, and it, it says a lot about our community. I mean, living in the Midwest, living in a community of, of our size and the support that people have, um, this is a perfect example of the unity within our community. And I tell you what, kids never forget parades, and you hope that they can raise their children in a place where they get to participate in something like this. And, and it's not just for the candy, it's for that camaraderie amongst adults and people within your community and, um, and yep. you get to enjoy a day like this it makes it even better. Well I'm, you know, I'm looking here with my I see Hayes High here my Hayes High education tells me that we are not even halfway through with all of our entries yet so <laughs> exactly. we got a long parade to go Hayes High marching band for us right now. Great turnout for them 85 members strong. Our next entry here, Kevin Daniels for USD 489 board. Now he's a write-in candidate. You know, wish all of our candidates the best of luck and we appreciate what they're doing just to step up for USD 489 and looking for that seat on the school board. We appreciate 
everything they do for the leadership here in Hayes. Now we're seeing here Escape, A to Z Escape, which is another escape room in Hayes, a one-hour heart-pounding race against the clock where teams work together to crack codes and find clues and solve puzzles. I guess we've got a stoppage in the parade right now to let a fire truck through. Moving on now with entry 47, rats. Have you heard of rats? I bet I, you have. I have. I sure have. <laughs> now this is the uh, fraternities. Is that the fraternities or fraternities and sororities? Yep. This is um, 50 short years ago. This is a non-Greek fraternal organization, Rho Alpha Tau. Original nicknames. We had some people back in the day that got this together. Gator and White Owl and Pee Wee, Toad, Goose, Flea, Rats. Many are still used today in some of those names. <laughs> In 2005, they began their reunions here with Oktoberfest and There's lost some members over the years, but still strong. Shedding a lot of balloons along the parade route as well today. <laughs> they are. Wow, look at all the balloons that are in the sky floating away. It's nice to see, you know, not only a non-fraternal organization like RATS, but also our fraternities and sororities coming together. And there are a lot of alum in town. Um, with the dedications that we had, you know, over yesterday and today, I mean, the support that we, we saw at those dedications, I bet there was 150, 200 people um, at the dedication this morning um, the, for Tiger Village. And that, that new fraternity house is so nice. It so. is. You know, and it's very unique, like none other here in the Midwestern United States. We've got Sean Musil now for City Commission, vehicle for him. He is a current City Commissioner, but re, uh, rerunning for office once again. Sean's a very personable guy, you know, and it, it does a lot for Hayes. And He's got a new uh, new house, uh, not a house, new, a, uh, a new business, business down yeah, on Main correct, Street. Correct, correct. See, Sean's giving us flyers now. <laughs> He's asking for our vote. Now to the uh, Criminal Justice Club. Award-winning student organization receiving awards such as Organization of the Year, Volunteer Organization of the Year, Best Program, and Civil Engagement Award. Big program. That program has grown so much over the it years. It has. It has. They do a great job in, on campus and very active in the community, and we appreciate everything that their leadership and department chair John Rackey and, uh, and, and his, uh, his professors there within the department are great supporters of Fort Hayes. And Twirl Academy coming up. The Twirl Academy of Western Kansas, team of individuals ranging in age from two, twirling at two, can you believe that, John? Wow. Two to 18. Members are from Hayes, Hill City, and surrounding areas. I tell you what, when those twirlers come into a Fort Hayes basketball game, a halftime performance, they steal, steal the Coliseum because it's absolutely unbelievable how much practice it takes, like a lot of other things, like dance and football and basketball. But, wow, when they can throw that up in the air and twirl and come down and catch it, and it's incredible. Now to the social work club we're seeing, social work entry, fits the parade theme because uh, we're, we're, we're talking and walking about with a 1900 antique car here. So, I mean, that, that car is wow. an old, nice car. It's beautiful. A club that's focused on empowering individuals in the community through service projects. Well, As for you, is that a service organization on campus just came by? Is there a um, faith-based service organization here on campus? Hey, here's one of those uh, fraternities, or a couple of them actually, Alpha Kappa Psi and, and Zeta Pi. You know, within our business professional fraternity on campus, one of the most active on our campus. Um, a lot, a lot of students involved in Alpha Kappa Psi. Here's a Cub Scout pack, 133, and their bags of candy are already half empty, so... <laughs> They've been, hard, they've been working hard. I don't know if they're either working hard or sampling. <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah, here's a vehicle. Looks like it's got it's weighted down a little bit in the back. <laughs> it sure does. Fraternity and sorority life at campus. 
support a state university. And that's something we were talking about, campus life, and especially with fraternities and sororities. Great, Great support. Great turnout, yeah. you bet. Our fraternities and sororities on campus, Alpha Gamma Rho, Sigma Alpha Epsilon, Sigma Chi's, Sigma Phi, Sig, Sig Eps, Tri Sigs, Delta Zetas, and Alpha Gamma Deltas. Now to the National Sorority of Collegiate Scholars. Here's some smart people, I, I'm yeah, assuming, some smart yeah. people coming along here. Yeah, that's right. Each member is dressed thematically as a different decade of Fort A State University his, with a song to match, too, I guess. An important part of uh, talking about our community is um, the future of our schools. I invite you to check out their Facebook page on November 7th for that U.S. 489 bond issue vote. Considering to please vote and cast your ballot. We see Next Tech Wireless with our vehicle here. And it looks like the Ellis County 4-H making its way down the parade route now. 4-H always good to have in the community and the it county. It is. And I tell you, it's amazing how many times you, we, we talk to students, they've grown up in 4-H, and it's the leadership, it's taught those, you know, uh, students to make good sound decision-making skills and have a positive concept about themselves, not only internally, but externally, and who they visit with. 4-H does an incredible job of leadership for young, young people. And we also remember that they have a name change, too. It's now the Cottonwood Extension District 4-H. All right. Which is Barton County and Ellis County combined. Hey, look at this, 4-H State University Rodeo coming up in April. 20 or April 20 through the 22nd, 2018. Miss Rodeo, Fort Hayes State, Monica Towns, and club members. I get to help those young people raise money for the Rodeo Club here on campus, and it's a joy to get to know those students. I always think when rodeo is coming around, it always is a rainy weekend. <laughs> You're right. Either before, or after, or during. Is Sandy Jacobs making her way down the parade route, walking the route? Sandy Jacobs running for city commission. Oh, nice. I almost had that. I almost had that. Hayes Med showing off their uh, cool looking truck here. It's the Breast Care Center. Hayes Medical Center, Mobile Mammography Center. Future and current Fort A State University alumni, families and friends walking to show the uh, future alumni through the decades of time, past, present, and future. What's neat about those mammographers is all of them here at Hayes Med are Fort Hayes State University alumni, as graduates. <laughs> I've got a stress ball now from a Hayes Med. There we How go. That? I got one of the uh, little footballs. The Sisters of Survivorship there, educational support for women affected by breast cancer. Oh, look at this. I wonder if they're bringing us samples. Champ's chicken. <laughs> what do you think, John? We could sure use uh, some. Oh, yeah, we could. They're handing out candy, though. <laughs> Here we see um, SOS, Sisters of Survivorship. Great organization in the community and great support, too. You bet. And, of course, wish October is Breast Cancer Awareness it Month. It is, you know, and, and we wish everyone the best of luck that's gone through that. And um, anything we can do to help them is, is, uh, is greatly appreciated. See, Carico Implement now. But actually, it's uh, Carico Implement pulling and their right. sign on it. But it uh, looks like our Block and Bridal Block Club. Block and Bridal Club, yes, exactly. Sir. Brock and Bi Bridal showing off their Tiger Pride. They had some si some pictures on the side showing past and past members and uh, what they've done in the past. Uh, 1986 Corvette here, Jerry Pfeiffer. Now Messiah Lutheran Church. Messiah Lutheran Church wants to celebrate the 500th anniversary of the Reformation with you. You can join them on Saturday, October 14th at 5.30 for a Reformation party with hot dogs, games, and fun at 2000 Main Street. 21 years ago, my wife and I were married in Messiah Lutheran Church. And look, you're still married. <laughs> still married. <laughs> See, we got an Uber driver here. Do you need a ride somewhere? Are you ready? I'm no, ride. I want to finish the, I want to finish <laughs> okay. the parade here. With Uber, you don't need to worry about parking, and you can enjoy adult beverages, they say, without worry. I bet they were busy yesterday. I bet they were. They encourage you to take Uber from you and uh, Fort A. State University activities throughout the weekend. 
Oh, see now more food. I'm seeing steaks, pizza, pasta. Look at that. They snuck in on us somewhere yeah, here, they didn't did they? sneak in there, didn't they? A little pasta jays. Seeing Thomas Moore Prep making their way through the parade route now. 2017-18, Thomas Moore, Thomas Moore Prep, Marion and Junior and Senior High Cheerleaders. Now we see uh, Halloween Express along with Paws Pumpkin Patch making their way down the road. And we want to remind everyone, Paws Pumpkin Patch is open Saturdays from 9 to 7, Sundays from 11 to 6 throughout the month of October. You can feed the alpacas, ride the hay rack ride, play in the corn pit, race RC cars. Oh, you're going to get attacked there. Two and a half miles south of Hayes on Highway 183, Paws and Pumpkin Patch. Halloween Express, you can stop by Big Creek Crossing there, see the new Halloween Express or a Halloween Express store in Hayes. Largest selection of Halloween costumes, costume accessories, props, party supplies, and decorations anywhere. Open Monday through Saturday, 10 to 9, Sundays noon to 5, Halloween Express. 9,000 square feet of Halloween supplies. I think yes. you need some of that in your house. It's don't my you? wife's business, actually. <laughs> I'm giving right. her a little plug in there. <laughs> Next right. Tech, we're showing Next Tech here for you, too. And uh, entry number 74 in our parade route here today is Hayes Rotary Club. Hayes Rotary Club, community service organization that is both a noon and morning club. So works into whatever schedule you have. You bet. That's a very active organization a lot, and they have a lot of support here. The Rotary Club does in Hayes, and their meetings are uh, a lot of people come in to talk to the Rotary Club and talk about what's going on in their, in their area within, within Hayes. We have the tactical experience of Hayes. Have you been there yet? I have not. Good place to go, fun place. It's uh, Brandy and Bra Bradley Crawford. He is a retired U.S. Army infantryman, 15 years of honorable service, over five overseas tours. Big Creek Crossing now is seeing some, an entry from them. Big Creek Crossing proudly dressed Fort Hayes State University Tigers for four decades. And then JDR Painting. I just love that they bought an old ambulance and converted that into the painting service wagon for them. <laughs> we see Collegiate DECA here. Business group on the Fort Hayes State University campus helping to prepare students with any career field where they can learn skills not taught in the classroom. You know, interview etiquette are valuable skills, presentations, resume building, um, teaching students how to dress professionally, when to dress, how to dress. That's, it's an important aspect today. Got Quest Diagnostics here. Their products and services benefit patients, healthcare providers, and pharmaceutical companies. Also, life insurance companies and employers, too. Remax Realty here. Good friend, Mr. Tim Kosart, a local real estate agent with Remax. Friend of Fort A. State University, you're right. Now we've got a vehicle with some friends from Bob Schwartz Financial. Schwartz Financial Insurance Group and Sunflower Senior Solutions honored to serve the community of Hayes with all your insurance and financial planning needs. They have over 40 years of experience available to answer any questions you'd ever have. St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. You know, this is an incredible organization on our campus. Um, the Stripes for Hope, our, our students get really involved and they have a campus executive board and they have different teams of fundraising activities on campus and providing patients um, care with St. Jude's Hospital. And that's an important part of, of Fort Hayes State University is giving back and our students do an incredible job of trying to find ways that they can give back and raising money for Stripes for Hope for St. Jude's. Now, there's so many great things happening on campus, it's hard to keep track of all of it, it because you've got so many different groups and so many so many different organizations out there. And that's what's really cool about campus life. Whatever your, uh, whatever your passion is, you can probably find something on, on Fort Hayes University campus. You're exactly right. You know, whether you're an athlete or non-athlete, you know, um, active in organizations, and we always encourage our students to get involved. And, you know, when you have... Uh, 
an incredible time like we have with Tiger Athletics. Um, wow. We're sitting here ranked in the top 15 in the country, number 11 in the country right now. And not only those things, but the building on campus and the support that we have in our community, it just adds a lot, a lot to Hayes. And there's a, a big reason why people like you and I are still here. Yes, exactly. You know, and with Fort Hayes State University, I tell you about, uh, you know, all these groups and organizations, but, you know, students, and I'm sure you, you when you were back with the, um, the uh, uh, committee were actually trying to recruit students to come sure. to Fort Hayes, tell them all the gro groups and organiza organizations that they can get involved in, because yeah. there's so many, yeah, and try is. something new. You bet. You know, there's over 150 different clubs and organizations on campus, and that's the one thing we really want our students to realize is there's a fit for you somewhere on this campus. And if we don't have one, it only takes five people, you and four friends, and we'll sanction that group or activity on campus and we'll start it. And a longboard we as a perfect example. I didn't know what a longboard was other than it's a big skateboard. Yeah. And now we have about 30 members strong. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. So you can join you can always join a club and uh, or start a club on Fort Hayes campus and uh, find some new friends. Definitely That's what it's so. all about. Hayes Middle School marching band making its way down our parade route. Drum Major Alex Johnson. Good numbers for Hayes Middle School Band. Yes. Hey, you know, we talked about Carico Implement pulling some other floats down the parade route earlier, but now we get a chance to see them f uh, flash for themselves. You know, I can't imagine being a, a person that, maybe a farmer that's farmed for years, you know, and looking at this machinery that they have nowadays and wondering what's going through their mind as far as what they use for machinery and now what these things have with GPS systems and well, I drove tractors in high school. They were nothing like these. Wow. It's unbelievable. We didn't even have a cab. <laughs> we had cab and AM radio. It's incredible. And we had no cab and AM radio, I should say. Great vehicles here from Carico Implement. Look how many can ride in the cab here on this. <laughs> yeah. The whole family. And that baby's air conditioned, too. <laughs> yep. Like you said, GPS, they probably set it and let it go. <laughs> and now we see Ellis County Rural Fire Department making its way down the parade route. And you know, we uh, allowed a fire truck to come through just a little bit ago from the parade route, going out and fighting fires. You hate to see that because they're going out to you an do. emergency, but uh, at least they're there for everybody. You bet. We appreciate everything that our emergency services crews do in Hayes and in, in Ellis County in particular and across the country. I mean, these guys give their hearts out and, and they're um, work very hard to, to keep things safe in, in our community, and we appreciate that. Must be the end of the parade. We've got ourselves some flashing lights, but also some horses, too. So uh, that's it for this year's parade. Mike, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. John Armstrong is my uh, co-host here today from the Foundation Office. I'm Mike Kerner, 2017 Fort A. State University Homecoming Parade on Eagle Communications Television and also on Hayes Post. want to thank you for joining us this year, and have yourself a great week. This Fort Hayes State University Homecoming Parade is brought to you by Beaker Insurance, Hayes Convention and Visitors Bureau, Hayes Planing Mill, Paul's Lawn and Tree Service, Tri Central Office Supply, Auto Collision Specialist, Cedar View Assisted Living, Riedel's Garden Center, University Bookstore, Carpet One, Ellis County Abstract and Title, Kinner Connect Family Dentistry. Midwest Energy, Precision Valley Golf Center, State Glass Company Incorporated, Downing Nelson Oil, The Quilt Cottage, The Almond Company, Coldwell Banker Executive Realty, Commerce Bank, Gone Logo, Hess Services, Keithley Funeral Homes, Leon's Welding and Fabrication, Patty Bacon Rind Appraising, Steel Fabrications, and Eagle Communications.